Hi guys. Um, so today you guys are going to be building this. This is your foldable. We will use this as a study tool. Um, I would suggest you keep it forever. Um, I will take it up for a grade on Friday just to make sure it's done and completed. I'm not going to actually take it from you. I just need to know that you actually worked on it today and got some stuff done. So um, to make things simple, I'm going to do my best to walk you through how to fold this and cut it so that you have the four windows ready to open um, to write down everything that you need to know about each macromolecule for to study. Um, there are the steps up on the board in like a hard copy so if you actually want to go up and feel what it looks like check it out you can um, but I'm also going to walk you through the steps really quickly here as well. So there are papers up on my desk they're just plain copy papers you will start with one of these. If you're a perfectionist like I am you will want to fold it hamburger style first and not super crease it we're not like creasing it like a card we're just putting little indents at the end so that we know where to fold to so when I open it I can see where those creases are and I know where the half mark is okay after I get this done I am going to take each side and crease it into the center and these will be like you're making a card crease an actual crease Again, if you're a perfectionist, make it as perfect as you want. So again, we had it like this. That's that half. So I folded it into that center mark where I folded the half. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Here's the catch. We do not want them to overlap. If they overlap, they're not going to open properly. So we need them to be a little bit off, um, a little bit apart, ever so slightly. And you can see in the center there that they do not overlap. Okay. Once you have this, again, if you're a perfectionist, you might want to fold halfway. I'll do that again without moving. So if I have it this way, I will fold it so that these two lines match up. I'm not creasing it hard. I'm just creasing it enough to see where half is because... I'm now going to cut this one flap up to the crease where that is. And if you want it half, we have to crease where half is or else we don't know where it is. Get it cut up. So I cut up to that crease. I'm going to do the same thing on the lower part. So for the sake of ease, flip it over. I already have it folded, remember, in half, so I know where my half mark is. I'm going to take my scissors, and I will cut it up to that crease again. Okay, so now I have those four doors, and we will label each one appropriately. So mine, when I did it, because I colored it, looks like this. In your flap, in each flap, you are going to have the purpose, examples, the monomer, the polymer, and how much energy is stored in that macromolecule. Okay, so you'll want all those on there. I will list that out on the board next to, I'm going to put mine up here so that you guys can see that as well, so that you know what all you need to include for each fold. This is all in your notes. If you have questions, consult your notes. If you didn't get your notes done, then go back to the top of this page because on class pages, there is the whole YouTube video of the notes, which is con unit one, concept three over macromolecules. So get that done first and then come back and make your little study tool. Once you're all the way done with this, you can work on your study guide if you have time. Otherwise, have a great evening and I will see you guys on Friday. Have a good day. Bye.